I gave my cats away for you. gross porn out there scat porn and stuff and yeah i'm king shaming that sorry like how hypocrisy you are oh my god hey girl gang what up everybody good to see you guys how are you it feels like a long time no see eh ah yeah that's right did you see that little clip interesting little clip i was sent of our own clips <laughs> on uh twitter Look at that. She is kink shaming scat fetish. Wow. How very, very hypocrisy you are, Chantal. We love to see it. Woo. Oh, uh, isn't it? Isn't it funny that after Scatgate, she gets possibly sick off of the poo poos? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Oh, man. Uh, what? CPAP passport. <laughs> You been passporting CPAP? Did I wonder if she brought the CPAP? Was she saying was it an overnight thing? I don't know. We will see. Oh, hello, Jime Lello. Norovirus is contracted by ingesting poo particles. Poo poo particles. Salad would be so proud. Hey, who knows how long she's been going around with this? Somebody was saying that uh, uh, recently, in one of his most recent lives. After being gone for a few days, Pete's was feeling pretty sick in his stream. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> AC Hill, thank you for the super chat. You lost 12 pounds. That is amazing. Congratulations. Feel even a bit spiteful after Chantal Spi as well, you know? <laughs> She's just... I'm glad we're here today. I have not watched the video. Although, of course, I've heard the main points of the video. It's all over Twitter. I haven't watched it yet. I'm very excited to watch it with you guys today. Pixie, thank you for the super chat. Wash your damn hands, people. Absolutely. Shut up now. Okay, let's be fair. I did look into it. And yes, apparently norovirus is going around right now in the Ottawa region. Fair. However, this is a woman that we know never washes ever. After going to the bathroom, after doing a damn thing, I would imagine after playing in salad scat like this is not a hygienic person and we know this so it's uh it's kind of not funny but she, the perfect person got it okay if she really has it if lucy jane thank you for the super chat listen canada first you sent your goose army to shit all over my lawn not the goose army then you sent bieber enough keep this heifer on your side listen I think it's only fair sometimes we get a break. <laughs> that's not that's not nothing. <laughs> She's been in Kuwait. That's supposed to have been our break. Sometimes we just want to send our things to the rest of the world. <clears throat> okay, listen. <laughs> and Bieber, in my mind, is American now. I don't want to hear anything about Bieber. That's your problem. Blobfish, thank you for the super chat. Now if she gets pink eye, we will know for sure. <laughs> oh, no. Not the pink eye. Oh no. Oh no. Stacy, thank you for the super chat. 
Norovirus is a hell of a weight loss strategy. Is it? I would assume for most people, yeah, when it's coming out of both ends without control, it would be. She'll find a way to get stuff going in there. Chantal like strikes me as the only person who could be barfing like nonstop and still have an appetite. Panda Pop, thank you for the super chat. ER sympathy bees for scamming scammer that scammed. You said it. You said it well. You said it perfectly. That's what I'm thinking. You saw the title and thumbnails. That's exactly what I'm thinking. This is not my first Chantal Rodeo, and many of us not. We have done these ER deflection beezes before. Whenever we've gone too far and we don't know how to defend ourselves, poof, pops up in the ER. This is classic Chantal behavior. Scam my entire audience and lie to them all about moving back to Canada? ER bees. <laughs> Very Chantal. Ling, thank you for the super chat. Oral fixation at his best. Absolutely. Wash your damn hands. Wash your hands. Miss Movie Buff, thank you for the super chat. We know she never washes her hands or clothes or um, environment, uh, anything. It's, 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 her whole life is a fucking Petri dish. See, Pat Passport, thank you for the super sticker. I appreciate it. Did you go to New York too? Ooh. Stacy, thank you for the super chat. Do you think she's still going to Kuwait? I would love to believe that she's not, but I do believe that she will. I think uh, she's staying in Canada a little longer than she let on, let's say. But uh, what the fuck do I know? For all I know, she could already be on a plane. When she stops shitting uncontrollably, I think she'll go back. Yeah, I don't think she's staying. Sydney, thank you for the super chat. You got E. coli from Wendy's. Oh, gross. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> That's awful. Somebody said on Twitter that apparently norovirus could be treated at home. It's not in my mind on the on the level of certain other things that you could be getting from food and stuff that you certainly can't treat it at home. Is that 100% true? I don't know. I didn't look into it for myself, to be totally honest. Tesdi, thank you for the super chat. If we can, I have chicken sandwich. We <laughs> Fair, but it saves a chicken burger forever. Bloop. Kitty biscuits, thank you for the super chat. Home sick today. Oh no, can you wish me... What better inch me? <laughs> We're okay. I'm gonna do it, but guys, please, we've discussed this already. We're not doing these. Can I do this voice of this voice thing anymore? It annoys everybody, okay? No hate. I'm, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I hope you're feeling better soon, kitty biscuits. You just take care of yourself. You keep warm and you keep the fluids coming, eh? You'll feel better in no time, don't you know? <laughs> not the gumdrop buttons. Thank you for the super chat. So glad you saw my. <sighs> I did. Thank you so much <laughs> for the suggestion. I love it, girl. Thank you. TC Honey, thank you for the super chat. Total deflection. I don't buy it at all. Same. Yeah. I think at most she maybe visited a hospital and she sat in a bed there. Prove it. You know, you know how stupid in my mind she has to be to do this? Like, bitch, in New York, you're getting a bill for that fucking hospital play going to the ER, this little ERB. What made it so sick in Canada is that every time she did, she was doing it on the Canadian taxpayer's dime with her free health care card, right? Now you're in another country. You're in New York, man. There's You're, you're going to take on debt, in theory, to ERBs deflect? I mean, it's insanity. Kalari, thank you for the super chat. She went to my home state to eat strip mall Chinese food. Heifer could, uh, couldn't even go to the city for the, oh no, she's not going to the city. They go to Messina. This is what they do from Corn, Corn. They cross because they have the bridge in Corn and it drops you in Messina. They they go to Messina. It's like the thing they do. Yikes. Constance and Charlie, thank you for the super chat. Don't catch the lives. Well, thank you so much for being here. Nice to see ya. Oh. Blobfish, thank you for the super chat. I got norovirus with a stomach disease and I still didn't end up in the ER. Thank you for that info. That confirms what's been going around on Twitter that, yeah, norovirus can be treated at home. Interesting. Jessica, thank you for the super chat. Think this ERB is to convince people she needs the money so she doesn't have to return it. Yeah, yeah, it could be. It could be. Oh no, now I have a bill in New York. I'm just going to keep the PayPal money. It definitely could be. I just definitely, whatever... The reasoning is this ER visit to me is connected to the PayPal fuckery that she did on her audience the other day, for sure. CPAP Passport, thank you for the super chat. I love your voices. It feels correct. 
thanks. Thank you so much, don't you know? <laughs> it's just it's just getting on people's nerves. So I don't want to piss everybody off. You know what I mean? Uh, sorry, not sorry. She was in a Canadian hospital? Well, that would be interesting. What a turn of events. Because although right now, maybe her, her uh, medical card, no, but she, it's true. She's, well, she claims she has appointments and stuff. Let's, okay, devil's advocate that. She, her, her, her uh, Ontario health card or whatever, oh, hip, it's still good. Would she have faked it being in New York, be in Cornhole, go to the hospital? Yeah, she would. That sounds like a fucking Chantal thing, uh, Chantal thing to do. Oh, the ER visit was in Canada. See, I haven't seen the video. I, I'm all hypothetic uh, thinking here. I thought she went to the hospital in New York. Okay, I'm going to shut up until we watch the video, and then I'm going to know what actually happened. AC Hill, thank you for the super chat. To be honest, couldn't it just have been a fart with her C. Diff? And Listen, she could have eaten something a little funky at one of the places she stopped at on the way to Messina, for sure. It could be like a million and a half reasons, you know? The way she eats and the... The stuff she eats and stuff? Yeah, I think so. Definitely. Mm. I've heard... Okay, there's there's another big theory going around. And some people have made videos about it. About it um, that she went to New York for the solar eclipse. Okay. And that she says at a certain point in the video, we... And she's got the camera scooched way over so that maybe we don't see that maybe Peace is in the car with her is the theory that I heard. I don't know. But I don't know why she would have gone to New York to see it because uh, Cornwall was in the path of totality. Montreal was also. I Googled it just to see. Yeah, Cornwall was too. So what would the point of going to Messina to see it when you could see it just as well in Cornwall? I don't get it. I also don't believe that Chantal gives two shits about the fucking solar eclipse like zero interest in anything that's not food or men i don't think she gives a damn and i don't know that pete's has a passport does pete's have a passport and i'm missing something i don't think he has one i don't know about that theory fabulous fabric fool thank you for the super chat oh, i'm glad you guys had a good week hey any week better than hers is a week you winning that's great you think it's pete's in the car lime jello but how did how the fuck i'm pretty sure he doesn't have a passport has he recently made one? I don't know. The Canadian space people went to Messina to see the eclipse too, FFG. Okay. Maybe the Canadian space people weren't in the path of totality. You know, this is a massive country. Canada is a lot bigger than just Cornwall. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. I'm just saying if you lived in the... Because I'm going to speak for Montreal because we were in the path of totality. You should have seen how many American tourists were in the city. It was ridiculous how many people had come here to see it. So I don't understand. If you're in a place where you have a clear sky and you're in the path of that, why would you leave to go somewhere? I don't get it. You know what I mean? It's not like, oh, she went to Niagara Falls to see it with a group. Uh, Niagara Falls had done a big, big thing for the, the eclipse, right? To drive into fucking Messina to look up at it? That makes no sense. I don't know. You think it was uh, Uncle Phil? It could have been Uncle Phil. My brain defaults to Uncle Phil. I don't think. I don't think. Pete's has been to Scotland. How often do you have to renew your passports there? Well, unless he took the like, at, at, at the most, what eleven years, twelve years, fifteen years now. He went to Scotland way before that. Just because he's had a passport in his life doesn't mean he has a passport now. And I seem to remember at the time where she was going to Cuba. People in his chat telling him, like, why don't you go to Cuba? I swear to God, I remember him saying that, like, I don't even have a passport. Not that he would have gone anyway, but I don't think he has one. I think he's told us this. Uh, Mimi Sparkles, thank you for the super chat. But it was all over the news that the court had a great view of the eclipse. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't make sense to me, you know? It makes sense. Sure, if you were in Toronto. Sure, Toronto was not in the path of totality. You know what I mean? Cornwall was. It doesn't make sense. Uh, justice and Harry, uh, justice for Harry and Julia. Thank you for the super chat teaspoon. Uh, Chantal thinks the ERBs is enough to deflect from her PayPal scam. I agree. I think that's the play here. It's a very Chantal play. We've we've been through this with her before. Lucy Jane, thank you for the super chat. New York trip was not the eighth. 
I was near Messina. Traffic was insane. The strip mall would have been packed with cars. The signs were up for weeks before. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Okay. That's a good theory. Yeah. If so many people had gone there for the, for the eclipse, and if she was there on the eclipse day, wouldn't there have been more people? Oh, I see. Again, I haven't watched the video. I don't know. But I, I'll take your word for it. And that makes hella sense. Um, AC Hill, thank you for the super chat. I think she went to the Chinese buffet. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> I also have a theory about some weed. Now, yes, weed is legal in New York and weed in Can we legal in Canada and stuff. You can't bring weed over the border anyway. However, what if Chantal is now paranoid and doesn't want to buy her weed in Cornwall because she's afraid of being like called out uh, again for buying weed, getting like caught at one of the dispensaries, let's say. And she may have wanted to pretend that she had already left back to Kuwait. She was being silent. Okay. This is just a, a theory. So what if she was going to drive? There's a little island between Cornwall and New York. When you're going, like you're going on the bridge, before you get to the bridge, you can turn off and you are now in Mohawk territory, okay? Hella dispensaries. So what if she's like, I'm going to go to, it's called Cornwall Island. It's got another name too, but Cornwall Island, which is the Mohawk territory, to buy hella weed, bring it back to Cornwall. I'm legally 100% allowed to do that. Cornwall Island is the Canadian side. You, you're not on the other side of the border legally allowed to do that it would cost way less to but like money you'd buy a lot more for your money if you bought it in the mohawk territory and brought it back uh and well she's like well while i'm going for that drive why don't i keep going go into messina go and yeah fuck up that buffet and whatever else and then get the weed on my way back sounds like a chantal thing to do and if uncle phil was the one in the car well we know she's very much got that weed interest with chantal maybe she wanted to buy some weed for cheap on cornwall island also you know what i mean i don't know it sounds legit <laughs> it really does again without having seen the video yet rachel thank you for the super chat that is another theory i can believe that so it doesn't look like she only goes to kuwait she could argue no look i make my videos everywhere you know great theory Delulu, thank you for the super chat. Y'all, the we are the voices in her head. <laughs> it could be. It could, again, I want to see. But I heard the camera was way scooched over as to not show who was in the passenger seat. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, I'm not even going to put that out into the universe. Nope, nope. Obtrusive thought just popped into my head. Let's see if anyone has the same. Oh, my God. Frenchie, give Yabba the Kia. I absolutely still would. Thank you for the super chat. I'm afraid to ask how Frenchie knew those tourists in Montreal were American. The license plates. They were all over the fucking road. Oh, my God. Like, so many different license plates. Uh, a lot of, like, sub a little, not southern states, but, you know, below, let's say, uh, New England. It was, yeah, pretty interesting. No, guys, y'all are putting Koki in the chat. I wasn't even thinking about Koki. I swear to God. I'm thinking more local to Cornwall. But it was an obtrusive thought. I'm not, I, I wouldn't have stopped myself. Shit, if I thought it was Koki, I would have told you, Koki, 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 Koki. That's not what I was thinking. <laughs> uh, Barking Tomato, thank you for the super chat. To be fair, Chinese buffet is delicious. Um, Okay. <laughs> Fair. I would say, would you cross an international border for a Chinese buffet? But you know what? Chantal has crossed an international border for food before. So I wouldn't put that past her. Think about it. If you could get weed cheap and stop at the buffet. Oh my God. That's like Chantal's ideal day. This is making more and more sense as I like work it out, you know? Ah, uh, I see many of you have thought of me obtrusive thought. No, I, I, like I said, I'm not putting it out there. It just, it did pop into my head. Okay. Obtrusive thoughts. <laughs> let's get on with this video. I want to watch the video. All this talk and I still haven't seen the video. So let's get on with it. Let's watch it and pause it every two fucking seconds and make comments. Okay. <laughs> um, I spent the day in the hospital. Let me get the tab. Hold on. hi guys welcome back to another video today we are starting with a random mini travel vlog to upstate new york in particular messina 
First, we had to pass through the Aquasasne Mohawk Reserve, though, and then cross a bridge to get to the USA border. Like, I know she's not stopping now for the weed. Obviously, she's about to get to New York, right? She's not coming across the, the border with it. But it is funny that she just herself mentions the Mohawk territory. Before we get there, we we, we are going to have to pass the Mohawk territory. Mm, like noted, like, I'll see you later on my way back, you know? Mm -hmm. Yes, she she has weed us now. And yeah, this voice is very pukey. It's like low BMI and also in a whole new octave. Okay, we made it through. Okay, I'm still thinking if it's a we, it's Uncle Phil. But I'm wondering, was she planning maybe on editing this differently and the we was gonna be like her and the audience? Like we're going to the day for the day to Messina. If it had it ended in like a hospital visit, possibly, maybe that's the we. I don't know. I'm playing devil's advocate here, but I, if it's a person, I think it's Uncle Phil. Blobfish, thank you again for the super chat. I had no specific reason to come here today. I just like checking it out every few years to see if anything has changed. I also love driving around to nowhere and anywhere at any given time question for Americans. Is Dollar General, like, a really good dollar store? Well, you're right there. <laughs> Bitch, why don't you pull over and go find out? You say you're there for no reason at all. Wouldn't that be one of those, you know, if you're, like, just doing, like, fuck all, wouldn't you stop and see, ooh, what's up with the Dollar General? <laughs> All right, so we have here a little shopping mall with a Chinese buffet, a cinema, a big lots. Hmm, interesting. All right, so this is what's playing at this cinema. Is this old movies? I can't tell. So I didn't notice this until it was too late, but the crappy gas station car charger I purchased wasn't working and therefore wasn't charging my phone this whole time. So at some point my battery died and thus why the vlog of Messina was no more. But I didn't want to waste the whole trip, so I'm still sharing the clips I have. Sorry guys. Anyways, unfortunately things recently have taken a bit of a toll for the worse health-wise. Hello. Hold on. Hold on. Oh volume up well her volume's all the way up there's nothing i can do before we get to this hospital thing that that whole the phone dies and now i can't film anything and blah 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 it does make me think that uncle phil was with her in the car because they pull up to the buffet ironic that that's when the camera craps out isn't it just as we pull up to the buffet and then maybe she just wants to go in talk mad shit while she eats with her aunt and really like go nuts and eat you know um okay so they did fine Maybe they even stopped and got some weed because there's a lot of dispensaries as soon as you cross into New York also. A lot of them, like right by the border. Maybe they got some weed before they go to a buffet. I would like to get high too. It opens the appetite, we call it, right? And they're obviously not going to film that. And then they didn't want to film how gluttonous they were in the buffet. And she didn't want she wanted to be able to talk to Aunt and us not hear her voice or whatever. And so she didn't film. She's now, you know, coming to the States. It's not Kuwait. It looks good on, on her passport and whatever. She can eat her food and fucking go and get her weed in, on Cornwall Island and go back home. I think that's what happened. That's what this whole thing was about. And it was definitely, in my opinion, not on the eclipse day. There was no, nowhere near enough people anywhere she was driving in Messina. Oh, 
So as you can see, I'm in the ER wheezing. Um, I have norovirus or the, um, the bad stomach flu, the highly contagious one. I don't know where I got it. I hope I never get it again. It is the worst illness. I swear, it's it's disgusting. Well, then it's beautiful that you got it. And I mean that with everything in my heart. I do. Kalari, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Yes, absolutely. I, it's not lost on me. <laughs> if you want to pretend like that, maybe this is true. Okay. And she does have a real bad stomach flu or whatever the fuck. That the woman who cosplayed herself through Ramadan, the holiest month of the Muslim calendar, right? Cosplays her ass through Ramadan, pretending to fast and pretending to pray and pretending to everything. Gets the fucking, vi like a stomach flu just as Ramadan ends. <laughs> it's almost beautiful, eh? <laughs> the Lulu, thank you for the super chat. So I became severely dehydrated and so I got sick about, I don't know, maybe three days ago. I don't remember exactly when, a few days ago. And so you were sick three days ago, which does kind of match up with Pete's also saying that he was sick. That's very interesting. And you still went traveling around, bringing your whatever into New York. How nice of you. Wow, she doesn't care. If she's sick, she's going to do whatever she wants. Ugh, just, I wonder if now everyone at her mom's house is sick too. I wonder if her aunt's sick too. Ugh. Foodie's mega pot pie. Thank you for the super chat. Mm. High sugar and low blood pressure and vomiting equals diabetic ketoacidosis. Yeesh. And I woke up in the middle of the night and I had to throw up. TMI, by the way. And then... The other, other end, diarrhea, severe diarrhea. So vomiting, diarrhea, muscle weakness, just um, fatigue. You find, honestly, Mimi Sparkles, thank you for the super chat. I don't find it sounds edited and just my opinion could be wrong, you know, but I don't, I don't think so. This, this is Chantal, she, she goes to the ER when she's in trouble with her audience and she was she just ripped them all off this makes total sense and i'm very dehydrated my sodium and um the chloride i don't know my electrolytes were bad i couldn't keep enough water in like fluids and the rate they were going out I definitely do think she pulled this sympathy, uh, like a sympathy stunt to deflect from what she's done. Sorry, not sorry. Even if she is shitting her fucking brains out, it wouldn't be the first time. And she never took herself like we, we've gone through. I'm sorry to say this TMI, but live streams with Chantal where she's getting up to shit multiple times in an hour. Like she's had the shits before. She's been sick to her stomach before. Somebody who eats takeout three meals a day whenever they can get their hands on it is going to go through this shit. She's never gone to the emergency room for this. Never. Now maybe, you know, we lean into it because, oh, no, they can't be mad at me if I'm in the ER. Nancy, thank you for the super chat, girl. It's bad. It's bad. Don't come near me. You'll catch it. <laughs> anyway, just a quick update. Um, I'm doing all right. Other than that, um, you know, this is very manipulative. The little looks, the little, you knows, this is classic Chantal. I'm not buying this at all. Mm -mm. Sorry. This is a stunt. She's stunting. She ripped them off with the PayPal thing. She doesn't want them to even refund, let alone she doesn't want to be in trouble with her audience. She doesn't want them all fucking uh, requesting refunds of the money because she's already eaten that money and smoked that money. Capricorn NJ, thank you for the super chat. I'm willing to bet she was sick the day after the eclipse. Makes sense. 
Uh, that was Eid. That's right. Oh, we're going to do something special for Eid. Yes. Uh, and she went to the ch uh, Chinese buffet to break her fasting. <laughs> yeah, well, the sun was still... Well, you're right. You're right. To break the farce of a fast. That makes a lot of sense. I do, I do not think it had anything to do with the eclipse or even that it was the date of the eclipse. Diligent Witch, thank you for the super chat. Oh, <laughs> It's like so grim, but also, yeah, you know, <laughs> so grim and so real at the same time. Yup. Kalari, thank you for the super chat. On this edition of things you should have kept to yourself, right? Yeah. She's adding in way more details than need to be to make this sound legit, to make the simple. Oh, no. Oh, she's really sick, you guys. Bullshit. No BS. Thank you for the super chat. Boo effing who? Yeah, that's how I feel about it, too. Like. Are we, we're supposed to cry <laughs> that you either ate some crap that gave you the shits or are so filthy from not having proper hygiene that you, uh, hygiene that you gave yourself the shits? Boo effing who indeed. I'll feel bad. Jitsi Rock, thank you for the super chat. She says, I'll refund everyone who asks. Then privates her comment section. <sighs> Oof. You're right. <laughs> Probably ignores emails right now. Guys, I couldn't answer. I was sick. I was in the hospital. Oh, no. Blobfish, blah, blah, blobfish, thank you again for the super chat. But remember, she had issues on the plane. Yes. Chantal lives her whole life coming, like, in and out of the shits. Yeah, come on. Damn it. This is Chantal's whole life. Now we're in the ER because of the shits? I don't think so. The Lulu, thank you for the super chat. Chantal, pulling close. We don't care. <laughs> yup. Oh, the arm cuff thing. It hurts. The blood pressure cuff. Let's see what my blood pressure is. Yeah, love. I don't know what's going on. Anyways. So I gotta get a whole bunch of fluids. Um. And like, okay, okay, does this have anything to do at all with a norovirus or anything? Maybe it's a, like a, a betus thing. This is, she just, you know, she doesn't like to admit so much to the betus being such a problem. But maybe this really has everything to do with the betus and nothing at all to do with her stomach or anything else. I find that a little more believable, to be honest. Anna, thank you for the super chat. I don't remember. Did she? Did she? I, I swear, I don't remember. She could have. <laughs> Definitely could have. Stacy, thank you for the super chat. It's giving me life by Jen vibes too. Oh my God. Even the way she's leaning and her face leaning to the side, it's giving Jen, you're right. Holy shit. Deb, thank you for the super sticker girl. I appreciate it. Yes. Okay. Maybe it wasn't so crazy of me to think. Yes. Del, thank you for the super chat. This was her beatus. I'll die on that hill. Yes. All about the beatus and nothing to do actually with her stomach, but she doesn't like to admit that the beatus is such a problem interesting pixie thank you for the super chat says she showered do you think she was forced oh god maybe either forced or is lying about having showered <laughs> sorry not sorry tater thank you for the super chat she's fucking christ but she doesn't have a lot of money how is she deaf not going to have a lot of money after her yep i'm sure she's not leaving there settled up with them she'll leave there with another fucking debt if this is the hospital in new york Soup not see. Thank you for the super chat. Where's the, her hospital gown in this ER? Huh. Hold on. Hold fucking on. I think you're right. Unless that's some kind of a blanket now or she's draped herself in her abaya. Where is her goddamn hospital uh, gown? She said she has the cuff on. That they're taking the, the, what do you call her blood pressure? How the fuck did they get the cuff under that long sleeve outfit and abaya and everything? What? What the hell was she wearing in the car? It was not an abaya. What am I talking about abaya? Wait, you can see it on the top, right? Okay, hold on top. Right. Oh, is that what that is on the bed here? Oh, okay. And maybe she's grabbed something just to cover her head with, and that's what we're seeing. Yeah, like the hijab kind of over it. Okay. 
Oh, <laughs> I thought you got her on that one. That would have been great. You're right. That does kind of look, when you look in on it here, I don't know if you can see my mouse moving, but like down here, it definitely, definitely looks like a hospital gown. Shit. I love the theories though. <laughs> mom to, wait, mom to Tom Max. Thank you for the super chat. PayPal paid for her New York trip. How fucking sad. You live in Cornwall. You're going to Messina. You need someone to pay for that trip. That's what, five bucks in gas? How about that? Another, what, 10 at the buffet? Going to the bathroom is torture because I have to unplug everything and take this thing with me into the bathroom. Oh, I'm tired all the time. So I'm just trying to get better. And then we should be able to do a bit of easing. Yeah, I'm very dizzy. I'm just weak. They want me to try to tolerate food. I haven't eaten in like since being sick pretty much. I tried having like an apple because I can't drink. I don't know where people come with up with like ginger ale. What? Wait, 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 wait. She just said she's been sick for three days. But we just saw her drive to a fucking buffet. What are you talking about? Is she trying to fudge the timeline on purpose? You just ate. I'm not, maybe not 10 minutes before. Maybe it was the day before and she's now back in Cornwall with the free health care. Makes sense. But what is she talking about? I'm now confused about the timeline. Jessica, thank you for the super chat. I don't feel bad because all the health issues she caused. Yeah, 100%. 100%. I am. Can anyone explain the timeline right now? Because she just lost me here. How can she say that she didn't eat since she was sick, but she's been sick for three days? But we just went to Messina. What is she talking about? We she pulled up to a buffet. Mendy, thank you for the super chat. Girl. She she looks. I I don't know. Either getting stuff in the yard, detoxing off the of stuff in the yard. Something's fucked here. Norovirus is twenty four hours max. Oh, is that true? Oh, I had no idea. That's interesting. I am confused. Very confused. Can't stop watching the train wreck. Thank you for the super chat. We ER nurses are too busy to give people gowns. Well, she has the gowns on. Like, and there's no way they could have put the cuff on her, right? Like in a long sleeve tight shirt, they would have made her put on the gown. That just makes sense. Hmm. Hang on, I'm, I'm just scrolling the chat, trying to figure out this timeline, if anyone figured it out. There's a theory that the New York trip happened during the week that she was banned. Okay, wait, I don't, I don't want to go all the way back. I just need to see. No, there's no snow. There's barely any snow left. During the week we were, she was banned. Oh, yeah. We were down to zero snow. There's a little bit of snow. Okay, but during the week she was banned, Montreal had no snow, not a lick of snow left on the ground. And then we got that massive fucking snowstorm and things have melted, melted. melted. Now we're back at the position. I'm going to remember this uh, What 549. Okay, let's just go back. Just, just look at the approach to Messina. Look at the snow. That's not what it looked like a, during her, the week that she was banned. S just snow wise here. What was on the ground? This is Cornwall. She's leading up to the border. There was no snow, not a drop of snow left on the ground in the week of her ban. And then boof, that massive snowstorm. And then there would have been hella more snow on the ground. This does feel like the day after the eclipse. This is like how much snow was left. And now it's melting away. Hmm. I don't know, but I think the snow kind of, it's easier to put it on a timeline with how much snow is on the ground. AC Hill, thank you for the super chat. I think it says on the way to New York that the date was the eighth, like at the border. Oh no. I'm going back again. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> we'll just watch the whole beginning again. Where does it say? traffic okay speed limit there's her passport i'm just skimming through looking for a date <sighs> a 
Okay. Oh, God. Can you guys see that thing? It says, expect eclipse delay 4 8 2024. What if it's the day before the eclipse? Like it's the seventh. Because if expect eclipse delay, there's no fucking delay and there's no goddamn people around. What if this is the seventh theory? Hmm. Lucy Jane, thank you for the super chat. April before the eighth. Oh my God. Okay. That's what I'm thinking now. Expect eclipse delays. There's no delays. There's nobody at the border. There's nobody in Messina. I think that this was before the eclipse. Uh, Patricia, and thank you for the super chat. I'm new here. Oh, hello. Welcome to the girl gang. Thanks for being here. Isabella, thank you for the super chat. Her geese are going to eat it. Hell yeah, they will. Let them. Let them fucking eat it up. We're going to analyze it up. <laughs> Something makes no sense here. I definitely, definitely think we are now in the seventh of the month territory. Maybe the sixth. Sixth, seventh. That's my guess. It was before the eclipse and definitely not during her week of ban. The snow conditions give it away that it wasn't that week. And that sign right there and the fact that there's no one at the border gives it away that it's before the eclipse. Well done, everybody. High five. <laughs> I love when we solve one of those. Catalicious, thank you for the super chat. Oh. Oh. Okay, uh, Google it. Okay, okay, okay. I have to catch up on the chat. I can't. Hold on, hold on. Dululu, thank you for the super chat. No way Chinny is going to go to a crowded event. Hell no. Hell no. Nor does she give two shits about the eclipse. Have a zoom, mom. Thank you for the super chat. Six liters of fluid, 450 pounds, a nurse said. Sounds legit to me. I love when she confirms it. <laughs> okay, hold on. Catalicious. Let's go to Google. What's the first line going to tell me? Read the first line. I'm going to see these. Okay. I'm gonna, let's go back and I'm going to press play and then I'm going to click it. Okay. I'm on fucking Canadian Google. It's not going to be the same. Where'd she go? There she is. Okay. All the time. So I'm just trying to get better. And then we should be able to do a bit of easing. Yeah, I'm very dizzy. I'm just weak. They want me to try to tolerate food. I haven't eaten in like since being sick. Pretty much, I tried having like an apple because I can't drink. I don't know where people come with up with like ginger ale soda when you're sick. There's nothing I want less than soda. Um, my wedding ring fell off in the shower. That's because I'm like, I'm being a skinny queen from the norovirus. <laughs> no fucking way that ring fell off. She would have to lose a good, what, 40 pounds for that ring to be loose? That ring is cutting off circulation. Her ring fell off, you guys. And doesn't she not wear her ring when she's washing? Wasn't that the whole reason why she lost the fucking ring in the first place? The first one? Story she told anyway. I don't know about this. Wants to be a skinty queen. I had to do some cameos from my hospital bed. Fun times. Anyway. You fucking e-begging bitch. You didn't have to do shit. That was what, another sympathy play? A cameo from a hospital bed. Go, literally go fuck yourself. not fun i don't know did you guys get the gastro this this year i haven't had that in forever oh my gosh seriously it is the worst man so it feels like a hangover times 10 that's what it feels like ew so yeah i didn't want saltines and ginger ale like i wanted juicy fruit because i was so thirsty Anyway, yeah, her fat ass wanted to probably go to a buffet or something because I'm so thirsty. Maybe it's because you don't really have the neurovirus. Um, so it's all about the poop, <laughs> poop particles and not being clean. Yeah, that's what it says. No surprise there. She's filthy. Teaspoon, thank you for the super chat. 
it's amazing how despite feeling so ill, she manages to pick up the phone and film trolling. For, yeah. Not only that, she's in her hospital bed doing her cameos. Can you even imagine? I would want a refund. Like that is such a manipulative, nasty play. Ugh. The devil. Oh, thank you for the super chat. See you soon, Chantel. Ooh. My blood sugar's through the roof, even though I didn't eat. The doctor's like, well, it's probably be because of the stress of being sick. And if you have like a virus or infection, you know. I bet she fucked it up so hard at the buffet and that raised all her sugars and shit. And then probably on the way home, she stopped off and bought so many edibles and hasn't eaten edibles like that in a long ass time. And you know, those little gummies and stuff, they're full of sugar. If you eat a lot of the, like, ooh, between the buffet and all the edibles she ate and stuff, that's why her sugars are full, the roof, full uh, through the roof. This isn't about neurovirus. This is about the betas. Angel of Temptation, thank you for the super chat. One bag of fluid takes two hours minimum. She would have been at the hospital for a long time. Ooh. Well, maybe she was. Lee Marie, thank you for the super chat, girl. The cock ring definitely did not fall off. Nobody's buying that. She were no skinty queen, Chantal. Joe Davis, thank you for the super chat. I'm diabetic and have no gallbladder. I'm sure surprised with the way she eats. Yes, that she doesn't live in the bathroom. Exactly. Exactly. Well said. That's right. She, Chantal shitting her fucking brains out is nothing new. Why is she acting like it's something new? Lorenzo, thank you for the super chat. Oh, <laughs> It does feel like a little, a little foreshadowing, yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to update you guys. Except for get allergic, it's the poop. Thank you for the super chat, girl. I don't know what, what will be going on. How long I'll be here for? In case the doctor's coming, <laughs> yeah. So they keep coming and checking my electrolyte levels, my blood sugar or stuff like that so okay but theory that gal blue thank you for the super chat chantal don't talk shit about ginger ale and crackers if she was really that sick to her stomach the, the crackers if she's puking and stuff it would like ooh, they would be tempting to her nons and saltines right she doesn't give a damn about them because she's actually there about her beatus and she just wants to get back out into the world and fuck up another buffet i'll keep you guys updated sorry for the bad quality video but uh, thank you, Jenna. Thank you so much, girl. And thank you for the super chat. That's so nice of you to say. This is over. Honestly, it's the worst feeling. I can't even think of food. Yeah, I know you're thinking, well, this is just what you need. <sighs> Maybe. Yeah, my wedding ring fell off in the shower. I'm skinny now. <laughs> I'm definitely not. I have another theory. <laughs> Sorry, Pixie. Thank you for the super chat. No doctor ever would tell a T2D death fat that dehydration and high blood sugar are stress related. Stop lying, Chantal. Stop slandering doctors. You're right. Yeah, she really should stop saying shit like that. She does make every doctor sound so like incompetent when really she's just the death fat dumbass. You know, I have a new theory putting it out there. What if you know, she had said she was coming to stay. Then she changed her mind and she was running back to Kuwait. What if Uncle Phil worked on her and convinced her, no, you should stay a little longer. It'll be better for you. Yada, yada, yada. And now she doesn't know how to tell Salad that she's changed her mind again. So all of this was her way of getting out of telling him that she changed her mind. And it was like, well, no, now I have to stay. I got sick. I need the hospital. I don't know. Delulu, thank you for the super chat. Drove herself to the ER and back home. Fam is over it. Or she's not really shitting herself, or nor actually needed to go to the hospital. And so couldn't tell them she's going to do this performatively. You think she's already gone? <laughs> Is my wishful thinking that makes her not want to go back, right? Salad doesn't want her back. Right, right. But she's still trying to pretend like he loves her. <laughs> Jokes on her. An insulin run. Oh. <laughs> Get your insulin here while it's paid by, I'm assuming OHIP would pay hella, a, like a, a large percent of the cost instead of having to buy it yourself in Kuwait. Okay. 
not putting any crap in my body after this, uh, the way I feel. I don't think I can tolerate it, honestly. They want me to try to tolerate something before I leave here. So who knows what that will be? I can't. <laughs> Anyways, guys. <laughs> Yay for norovirus. Ew. Okay, I know this is tiny, tiny, and petty, but sometimes it's the tiniest, pettiest things that give her away. I just want to get the right thing. Yay for norovirus. No, a little further. Hold on. She just gave a major tell. It's so tiny, but a major tell that this whole thing is fabricated. She's not sick, and this is a performative stint at the hospital. The way that she says, anyway, guys, she's not sick. Listen to her. If you have watched Chantal long, as long as I have, let's say, you know by the way she says that, and then <laughs> this whole thing is fucking fake and performative, and she's playing us all. Let's watch it again. So who knows what that will be? I can't. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Right there. Right there. I know some of you are going to be like, wow, Frenchie, you are reading way too deep into such a tiny moment. The tiniest moments are what gives her the fuck away. Let's watch it again. Notice what I'm saying. <laughs> Anyways, guys. That's it. That's all I need to see. Ah, <laughs> we didn't even need a 12 minute video. Five second clip is all I need to know. I want, I would bet my last fucking dollar on it. This whole thing. That's almost a duper's delight. She forgot to act in the second when she was playing that, that right there. That was just Chantal. <laughs> anyway, guys, <laughs> like she was ending any other video or whatever. She's a fucking liar. That's the little duper's delight. She just gave herself away. Angel of Temptation, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. No, no, just, just playing us all for fucking fools because she thinks we're all morons. Absolute fucking morons. Oh. <laughs> this is great. She's so dumb. I want to watch that one more time. I'm I'm mad now. <laughs> anyway, guys. <laughs> Piece of shit. Pixie, thank you for the super chat. Last time she had buffet and then free insulin again, eh? It was the day after the buffet. Okay. So you were right. <laughs> Anyways, guys. <laughs> Did you see she changed her face too as soon as she said it? Anyway, guys, and she caught herself in the camera smiling too hard and boop, her fucking, the smile disappears in a heartbeat. That's the tell. That's the, <laughs> Chantal has many tells. That major fucking tell. Chantal, just, just shut up and stop lying to us after that little mistake you just made. Okay, liar. You're full of shit, Chantal. Angus the Pangus, thank you for the super chat. The performance of this video, weak, dainty, Chantal. Yeah. Anyway, guys, massive smile. And then, ooh, ooh. Should have edited that moment out, you lazy bitch. Too lazy to fucking edit. Rat beef sandwich. Thank you for the super chat. Playing fake hospital monitor beeps in the... I don't think so. No, 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 no. She definitely went to the hospital. I will st I stand on that. But she doesn't need to be at the hospital. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not, not to the extent that she's pretending to. And certainly not because of neurovirus. This is, I ate too much shit. Uh, my betus is out of fucking control. Oh, and I scammed my audience for PayPal. And I'm not reversing anybody. Anyway, guys. <laughs> Yay for neurovirus. Ew. Have to have my own washroom because it's contaminated from my from me because it's so highly contagious. Anyway, I'm gonna try to rest. And um I'll just see you guys when I see you, I guess. I don't know. I'll try to update you guys as I can. Um see you later. I don't think so. Lime Jello. First of all, they'd be pins. They wouldn't be huge, like saucer ass looking like that. And we'd be able to tell. I don't. I don't get it that anything major really happened here at all. When she told the story of uh, almost ODing there on the coke, and I, mean, I more than believe that. I was like, 
more scared than she was telling the score the story like she wasn't even telling us all that story you know what i mean you could tell that it had definitely happened i think this is the beatus and she's fully milking the situation for sympathy cougarelli thank you for the super chat she makes a point to tell us she removes her ring to do dishes. Yes, to, to do dishes. We know when she apparently lost it right in the airport last time that she was traveling to Canada, she had lost it because she took it out, she says, to wash her hands, which is hilarious since <laughs> she doesn't wash her hands. But uh, yeah, I, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, why would she wear it in the shower? It makes no fucking, that ring didn't slip off. She's full of shit. Isabella, thank you for the super chat. Uh, she's ooh, spilling over that stretch. Well, I mean, it is Chantal, 450 pounds. That's one strong stretcher. Hmm? What if she, oh no, she didn't pawn the ring. What's she going to get $2 for it? Never mind. Bye. So they ended up having to give me a total of six of these fluid bags for uh, rehydration. It was rough. Hi guys, I just wanted to give an update basically on, you know, I left kind of hanging in the ER, so I have been discharged, I was discharged in like the middle of the night, and I actually feel a lot better today. So basically I was just really dehydrated, like a lot, so basically they gave me like um, a few liters of fluid anyways. Right now? Right now, since this cut to her in the car, she's high as a fucking kite right now in the car talking to us. The amount of THC, I can't even imagine how many edibles or smoke or whatever the fuck she's done. It's more than smoke. I think she's smoking and edibling. She is so high right now. Wow. Look at her eyes and listen to the pastiness of her mouth. It's so nasty. Kalari, thank you for the super chat. Heffa stole the ring story from one of, oh, really? Interesting. I've been drinking, I picked up some Gatorade, but it's like, it's like a healthy Gatorade because when I'm ill, Gatorade is like real Gatorade is too artificial for me. And that's why I don't like ginger ale either when I'm sick. <laughs> so it's actually only got like, I think two or three carbs and one gram of sugar, which is also good for diabetics, you know, and it's made with like real, I think it's like watermelon juice and like um, salts, like sea salt and like more natural ingredients. There's still a few that She's talking about a Gatorade, doing that stupid fucking pretentious hand thing, talking about watermelon juice and real natural ingredients. It's a fucking Gatorade. Like, get over yourself. Why are you being pretentious about a Gatorade right now? Can you put that fat fucking ham hock down? Get it out of my face, liar. High as a fucking kite spewing shit about a goddamn Gatorade? How did you get to wherever you're sitting in that car high like that? Hmm? <laughs> Can't stop watching the train wreck. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, I've seen that overlap with no. Oh, ho, ho. it takes usually an upstate eight. What? Okay, wait. So it's about to come back. I don't think she, again, I do not think this had anything to do with neurovirus. I think she ate something funky at the fucking, uh, what do you call it, the buffet? Or just ate too goddamn much, shit her brains out, but that's just her normal life. And she went to the, the ER because of her beta symptoms and a sympathy play. Her eyes are slits. She's high as balls right now. When is she getting her apartment? Ugh, that is the question, eh? <laughs> yeah. Wait, I'm not high enough. For, I need to catch up. This bitch is such a liar. She's just, listen, you, you, you can't lie about not being high. She's sitting in the driver's seat of a car right now, high as a kite. And she talks about other people driving high and of the nerve of this woman. They're a little iffy, but it's for the most part, they're very, uh, they're a lot more natural, let's just say. So I was just charged in the middle of the night, which, um, you know, they asked me if I was okay. And I said, yeah, I can drive. <laughs> That's about it. Today, I'm feeling a lot better. I think the hydration really helped. And honestly, I was, um, I'm, I'm really craving like pickle juice, which also is apparently good for like electrolyte replenishment uh, because of the. How is it for your beatus? How's all that fucking electrolyte replenishment? Relax. You, you have the Gatorades. It's enough. How much fucking electrolytes do you need? Pickle juice. Siphoning pickle juice. You know why she wants to pickle juice? She's high as a kite. God damn it. This is so stupid.
the high sodium content, but like I was just like craving going into like, you know, a Canadian grocery store, like no frills and just grabbing like no name brand, big jar of dill pickles and just downing the juice, like having an emergency jar of pickles in my bag. That's not a bad. Yeah. That ring does not look like it's flying off of anything. It looks like she would still have to wiggle it back and forth to ease it off of the trotter. You know, no fucking way. Bad idea. Anyway, I should start a pickle company. Who am I kidding? I can't even get up before noon on a good day or before three. Well, sometimes, yes. I've been sleeping a lot, like for days. I've just been resting in that because this flu just makes you feel like you've been hit by a mock truck like 18 wheeler so yeah fun and i think okay i'm sorry to cut in again but just looking at the lack of snow out the window there this would have been filmed like kind of real time either i don't know maybe yesterday maybe you know what i mean like this was not filmed at the same time as the rest there was way too much snow again on that way to messina no fucking way stacy thank you for the super chat i agree there's something but there's something going on. Was she denied the visa? Is it, again, like the trip to Thailand when she didn't know when she'd be able to go back because she didn't know when that fucking visa was going to work out? Maybe that's what's happened again. This, who knows? Grace, I just want to believe she's not going back for a while. Big C, thank you for the super chat. Yeah, where's your fucking MLM shit? Why don't you drink that? So good for you. Yeah. Foodie and beauty, thank you for the super chat. She needs to drink some toilet cleaner. How about just drink out of the toilet like a fucking dog? Maybe there's electrolytes in there. It's natural. It's beautiful. It's Gatorade. Fine. Anyway, um, I'm sticking around for a little while because I had some plans that were like pre-booked with like, you know, um, friends and family. Yeah. Citizen Cardigan, you're wrong. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. We analyzed this while we watched the video. Messina was definitely not on the 8th. We could tell by the amount of snow on the ground and the sign that was flashing on her way into Messina and the fact that there was nobody on the roads, nobody in Messina. It was the 6th or the 7th. It definitely, definitely was not on the 8th. I have friends. You guys are always shocked by that. I don't have many, but... <laughs> Actually, I do have a lot. I just don't keep in touch with a lot of them. So, yeah. But. Uh, oh, a lot of friends. Go fuck yourself. You have Pete's. Eh? You have your aunt and Phyllis. That's it. Angel of Temptation. Thank you for the super chat. She doubly use it. Yeah. So family. Yeah. Uh, I have some things to take care of. Some medical appointments and things like that. So, um. I will probably like do some live streams. I'm not sure. And I'll do some more videos for you guys, more vlogs. But I am still going back to Kuwait. And um, so I'm just like rearranging my life right now, basically. And I'm just overwhelmed. And just having the personal space, like not uploading as frequently is like really helping. So I appreciate your guys' patience. I know a lot of you look forward to and depend on my videos. Um, so yeah, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. The audience depends on her videos. No, honey, you depend on your videos. That's how you stuff your face. Say thank you, and that you depend on my videos. God, she's she really thinks she's like so important. Dead fucking channel. No one gives a shit. You should thank the people still watching. So I'll be back whenever I can. <laughs> See you guys. Bye. Masalama. Masa, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Chris, get the hell out of here. That was weak. That, although I still enjoyed watching that video. I like catching her in a couple of lies in one short little video, you know? She was lying to us all. That was clear, by the way. She, okay, anyway, guys, <laughs> in the hospital bed. I don't think it had anything to do with neurovirus. She ate too much food, made herself sick, and now, you know, she's just... <laughs> suffering the beatus consequences took herself to the hospital possibly the insulin run i like that theory grab it for free instead of paying for it later why the hell not and at the same time be able to manipulate all of the beezers i'm not going to come live too much i'm going to give you videos why because you turned off the comments and you can't be confronted with anything when it's on video interesting i see okay that's fine i prefer videos <laughs> that's just me you know but um, 
Chantel, don't think you're fooling anyone. You're, you're a fucking idiot. Okay. Nobody is as stupid as you are. You have so many goddamn tells just things like the snow, the signs that you, you really think people are that dumb. And you know what? Her beezers are that dumb. Let them be that dumb. Bless. Bless that there are morons on this planet, but also bless that we're not all as fucking stupid as your beezers are. Okay. You fucking lied. <laughs> and you're going to keep on lying for the rest of your life because a shit apple can't change its spots. It's just the shit leopard, I should say. Shit apple. Shit leopards can't change their spots. And she truly is a shit leopard. So stay shit leoparding. Stay lying to us. But don't be mad when we call that shit out. <laughs> I just want to believe that she's going to be here for a little while longer. I get it. She's going back. I get it. I get it. But come on, man. Come on, give us some good content before you go back. And I don't mean an ERBs something. Fucking rage, rage your ass off so hard that it gives us like eh, rage. Uh, we, we will be happy with the rage for six months or something, you know, satiated, satiate us with your fucking rage, man. We get nothing. Do something while you're here, Fuck, please. <laughs> for the love of the community, man, we, we don't depend on you. You depend on us. You depend on people watching. It's how you feed yourself. It's how you take these trips back and forth. So give the viewers, the audience, what we want. I don't care. Whatever you need to get mad at, rage at something. Sit in the fucking car and get mad. Give us a Cuba rage. I'll take a Cuba rage. I'll take any rage. Hmm. Ooh, I think my phone is... Wow. Well, I don't know. Uh, Pete's is her friend. Pete's is the genuine one. He gets fuck all from her. Except he's able to say, my friend. My friend. Uh, anyway, we will be waiting for her next little nugget of uploads, I suppose. <laughs> Until then, I have a little retro. It's a shorty. Oh, but it's a goodie. I will only speak for myself, but I love a good torrid haul. <laughs> a Delulu torrid haul where we try on uncomfortable clothes, convince ourselves we look good in them, all while sweating and grunting away. Shall we watch a short little torrid haul? It's called Torrid Try On Haul Plus Size Clothing, February 26, 2021. It's her wig era. Uh, she's about to approach crackhead Olympics era. She wanted to lose weight. She's buying like gym clothes. It's redonkulous, okay? Let's watch that one together. It's not too long. Uh, then we're going to end it over here. And at 9 p just I'm saying this now for anybody who's not down for a retro, 9 p.m. tonight, we will be live on Twitch playing. It's a trivia only night tonight. Keep your quip lashes and your pip lashes to yourself. No one's here for that shit tonight. I'm here for trivia and nothing else, okay? <laughs> so if you're not down for retros, I hope to see you later on the Twitch. AC Hill, thank you for the super chat. I think the more smart she sounds, the more she sounds like she did research on all of this. Yeah, like the pickle juice having electrolytes and stuff. Agreed. Agreed. With that ham hock up and stuff. She said, I Googled the absolute shit out of this. I'm going to sound legit right now. <laughs> yes. Ah. Uh, all right, y'all. Let me get the tab. We're going to do our retro and uh, call it a night for tonight. Squish Mallow, thank you for the super chat. I work overnights and can never watch a live stream because I'm asleep. Oh, thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it, girl. And I got to look at her. Look, just look at her before we even start. Look at her. Look at her wig. Look at the wig. She's got earrings on. Woo, she's really feeling herself right now. Soup Nut C, thank you for the super chat. Do the retros, Frenchie. I love them too. I love them too. Listen, present day is so god fucking awful. These, they take me back to a happier time. Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey, 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 hey. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am so excited. I was not expecting to get my clothing shipment from Torrid in this soon. It took like a couple of days from the time they sent me the email that they were shipping my stuff. So I'm so excited to be doing this unboxing. Yeah, I'm just super excited to do this video. All right. So what I'm going to do first is show you, I'm going to actually unbox the clothing and the accessories that I got, and then I'm going to try them on. So let's get to, let's get to, all right, I'm actually going to put the hair back for now because I'm hot. So you might hear a fan in the background. That's just always going in my room. So it's pretty stuffy in here with the heat on. All right. First item. There's no heat on. When did you turn your heat on? Stop it. 
The heat's always off. The fan's always going. You got the fan going because you're 450 pounds. And it's even worse when you're about to try on clothes. Stop. No spy it for you, Pandu. Thank you for the super chat. Aren't you ever seen the video saying Foodie was inter interrogated by Kuwaiti police? No, I, I have not seen that video. I tear the tags off because I'm not going to be returning them. Like, I just can't be bothered. So this is a 4X and this is a... Um, <laughs> I'm going to have to figure out how to wear this. I think it does a crisscross in the back or something like that. It's a sports bra. It's very pretty. Like I said, I'll have to figure it out how it works in the back. Kind of does like a crisscross thing here. It is a really nice color. Pinks and purples. So I'll show you how that fits when I try it on. Next. Oh my God. Yes. It does kind of look like a Becky hairdo. You're right. Becky Beck. <laughs> Item. We have the matching leggings. So this is like a workout set to do my dance videos and workouts in. Dance videos in. Maybe I should have got a bigger size because they're 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 like not as stretchy as I thought they would be actually. Uh oh. Okay, well, we're going to try them on and see. They're probably going to be skin tight. But not like you haven't seen me in skin tight clothing before, right? <laughs> the irony that Chantal comes for people's looks is that she puts, she comes for people's looks, for example, me, who puts zero effort into said look. She puts in all the effort she can muster and 12 filters, looks like this, and still comes for people's looks. Okay, I got a pack of, I always like getting these, these ankle socks. Um, they make them big and nice and comfy at Torrid. So it's always good to have some extra black socks on hand. Next item, I found this to be so cute. And it just, I didn't realize fat socks was a thing. They make them big and oh so comfy. Like, I genuinely never realized fat socks was a thing. I guess wide feet, wide socks. I've never heard of that before. <laughs> Feral girl. Thank you for the super chat. Oh, I remember too. That's a, a classic one. It's pretty much why I picked this one to watch today. <laughs> Just looks so cozy. It is a really nice material. Oh my gosh. Look at, I got this in a five X cause I want it to be extra roomy and just fit. The word is fit. A five X isn't extra roomy. It's just Probably the size you should have been buying. Because the 4X that you just showed us in those pants, you're like, yeah, no, these aren't going to fit. I should have got the extra size up, which would bring it to a 5X toe. <laughs> AC Hill, thank you for the super chat. That small was on purpose for feeders. Oh, that makes sense. Big and comfy. I love foxes. And I especially love foxes with glasses. So this is that shirt. Can't wait to try it on. This is a 5X shirt. I love the baby doll kind of shirts. I love peplum tops as well. I love how they flare out. They're more flattering. But I love the flower pattern because I love the color scheme. I think it will look really nice. All right. I got another workout sports bra kind of top. Don't you just love the pattern? And then it's, it's so funny. As she says, don't you just love the pattern? I'm sitting with my mouth open like, who would pick that? Who? who you know what I mean? Like, unless you own every sports brand, you're like, now I'm going to buy some crazy ones. You literally own one. And that, you pick that? No, I don't love the pattern, you effing lunatic. Miss Movie Buff, thank you for the super chat. Hello, Max. You're a good boy. At the back, it has this crisscross pattern. So I think it's going to be really cute. She doesn't have a list. This was uh, very much the uh, era of the edibles. While well, she was taking those, um, the wheelchair gummies, you know, the thousand milligram edibles. She's high as a fucking kite right now on edibles. These are a 4X. I'm so disappointed that they had the matching top 
but they only had a three X. These two look kind of small. I hope they stretch. <laughs> but are these the cutest workout pants? I do have a black um, sports bra uh, that I wore in my last dance video that I can wear with these. So the stretch is a taut. It's taut. You know, it's not like, I don't know. We'll see. Have you never put on leggings before? They're not loose. Oh my God. She's trying to be 20 or 60. She has her mother's taste in everything. Makeup, clothes, everything. Probably have to squeeze into them, but whatever. And this, I oh guess. These are 4X. These are leggings. These are super nice. They have the detail on the side here. These are not a stretch. Holy crap. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not trying to fat shame. I sort of, like sort of am. It's just, I've never seen anything. That, that's the biggest leggings I've ever seen in my life. And the fact that this woman talks mad shit that me and her are the same size or that she's the same size as anyone else. She tries to compare herself into the community. Those don't even look like leggings to me. That looks like some kind of a tarp. I've never seen leggings that big and they probably were too tight for her. That's Chantal. Don't compare yourself to anyone. You are on your own fucking planet. Okay. But compare your pants to Amber Lynn's. That seems closer in size. Honest to God. KJ. Yeah. Nah, thank you for the super chat. Well, on the side here, these are not as stretchy either. Are they workout? Yeah. They're active workout pants. So these two are workout pants. <laughs> but they're really sexy. They're nice, <laughs> you know, with like, I could wear them with that, like other top. So yeah, just got a little bit of workout gear here. And last but not least, the box for my cat. <laughs> I got some accessories. Right, the Lulu, thank you for the super chat. Earrings, if you will. These are just so cute. Like, I can't. I'll try on the earrings with my outfits. Look at these. Aren't they nice? No, they're not. <laughs> I used to say this every time she got earrings because it's the time, like, the, ten, the types that she tended to pick. You got to have neck to wear earrings like that. You got to have space between ear and shoulder to pull off earrings like that. I get it. If you're like a, a fat woman and you got a, a beautiful neck still, you would wear, you know, like gaudy ass, big ass earrings like that to attract the attention to your ear and maybe not another problematic part of your body. I, I understand the logic there. This woman has no neck and has very little space between ear and shoulder. All an earring like that is going to do is show you how little neck there is and how fat that area of your body is why would you attract more attention to it makes no sense at all uh m andrews or mandrews i'm not sure thank you for the super chat they're like hoops with these like little flowers i love the colors could put some like nice black and pink eyeshadow And then these, I just had to get, they're so nice. I love these little flower earrings. No, no, for the exact same thing. You need neck, bitch, you need neck. Maybe those first ones, the little uh, hoops, they're they're short. You don't need much neck, or like space between ear and neck and all that. Those last ones with the little frillies, no, no. They're gonna, yeah, sit on your shoulders. They're gonna emphasize how fat your neck is. These little hoops that have like fabric on them and the pink or peachy pink weave earrings, dangling earrings. Yeah. So guys, that is my haul. And now we get to try on the clothes. Nope. All right. Here it is. She looks like a big fat toddler that mommy dressed in that outfit with a really bad haircut because she goes to like, we have this dump place in Montreal called hair play. It's where you take your kids to get your haircut. Cause it's like fun for kids in there. But the haircut quality is like this wig. You come out looking like this. You know what I mean? Bitch got her haircut at fucking hair play and mommy dressed her up in a little tunic. 
this. These pants slid on better than I thought they would. The 4X. This is the detail of them. This is the shirt. Fucking idiot. <laughs> Good to work out in and do the twist. <laughs> All right. So those are pants. Shirt number one. <laughs> By the way, I'm she's already so badly out of breath. It's like painful already. The shirt is appropriate. Yes. <laughs> Show that moneymaker the gut. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Having technical issues with my ring light so that's why the light is not ideal i'm sorry about that all right so this is the shirt with the fox i'm still gonna wear these black pants just because remember she said she got this one in a 5x so it would be very loose and comfy oh my god ma'am it's clinging to that first barrel Okay, the, the the double barrel, the bottom barrel, it's it's hidden by the, the shirt. But you really thought that that was going to be loose? So comfy. Oh, my God. That looks uncomfortable watching. Not the gumdrop button. Wait, not the gumdrop buttons. Thank you for the super chat. She definitely is. As this will go good with black pants. Um, isn't it cute? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute it's nice and cozy it's it's you know it's very loungy material casual it's a soft material i love it i love the feel of it and i love do you see yourself though i know you do you i fuck yourself constantly in that camera how can you see how that looks on you and say i love it and I bought this big so it would be comfy. Polar pin up. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Definitely. Oh my God. This is insane. Just, oh, I forgot how wild it is. I thought the wildness was going to be the workout top, you know? I forgot. This is just a normal t-shirt. The most hitting, who would buy that t-shirt? But still, oh, look at how it fits. That's insane. Lord Farquaad. Farquaad. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Lord Baroque. Forgive me. Thank you for the super chat. African elephants are pregnant for up to two years. Well, I've been watching Chantal for seven. What kind of elephant does that make her? I love how cute it is. I like fox. What did the fox say? I know that's an outdated joke, but I never use it. All right, what I'm trying Hell on yeah, together. JP. Thank you for the super chat. But I can't find my black sports bra. So just try to imagine these things as two separate pieces, if you can. So this is the 5X sports bra. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. What? In the arms of the angel. Mean Jean. Thank you for the super chat. Taking her car, smash the door. What? What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Talking in her car, smashed against the door. Yeah, yeah, we watched it already. I didn't hear Pete's talking, and I don't think Pete's number one was there. Number two even has a passport to have been able to go to New York. I think it was Uncle Phil, if it was anyone. Uh, Pixie, thank you again for the super chat. Yeah, good, good point. This is over 100 pounds less. Yeah, I can tell you just by when she turns to the side, she's significantly smaller in this video than she was at the Fatty Fashion Show. Significantly. Oh my God. I'm so sorry, Lord Farquaad. No, I'm kidding. Lord Baroque, forgive me again. Thank you for the super chat. Just for that, to make amends, she how sorry I am. I'm not going to take one jab at Arby's for one whole week. Love you. Um, I'm apple shaped. So this is what it's going to look like on an apple shaped person. It tries to roll up on my tummy, but these are tummy. the small pants to work out in. They have a lot of room. Yep, they're very easy to move in, as you would expect with active gear. And 
Oh my God, that's funny, Kalari. Thank you for the super chat. That top is taking her blood pressure. Very comfortable. You know, not heavy, very comfortable clothing. Oh yeah, I like the feel of this. <laughs> and then you have the back detail, the crisscrossing detail. I'm just going to say it. I don't think things that are made in 5X should have little details on the back like that. You know that a 5X woman, I'm sorry, is going to be a real wide-backed woman. It is what it is. Why would you make little dainty-ass straps and 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 leave place for the just the rolls to be hanging out there? That doesn't even make sense. That Whoever decided like designed that actually hates fat women and doesn't like that they work for Torrid. It is what it is. Delulu, thank you for the super chat. Yep. Good to work out in. <laughs> this is all I'm going to do. The nerve, eh? To call it apple shape. Luna, thank you for the super chat. So that's this workout top. I really like it. And I like the way these workout pants fit, too. All right. She's really feeling herself. Insanity. Busted can of biscuits. No. Capricorn NJ, thank you for the super chat. She said she's apple shaped. Have you ever seen an apple in that shape? I would suggest you not eat it. <laughs> this one is a bit tighter because it's a 4X, the top. So I have to keep pulling it down. So, yes, nice material. Love the color. Now I'm alone here. Oh, that is, that is so hideous. So bad. Like that, the bottom gunt is so low. It's halfway down her thigh. I know she was just wearing pants just like that, but something about the black material, you didn't really, you didn't see where that double, the double, the, the, the bottom gunt goes. Holy shit. Are those bad pants? Don't ever. No, no. The, the whole thing is bad, but I mean, I'm mesmerized by the bottom gunt here. Miss Movie Buff, thank you for the super chat. She does. So I can't tell if the back looks okay. So that's what it looks like. Now, the back straps were confusing. So I'm not sure if this is the pants. Good to work out in. <laughs> you shut up about walk, working out in and where you're this out of breath and sweaty just putting the, the outfit on is this the workout then she just takes it off Ooh, workout done for the day deep fried dreams thank you for the super chat i'm like uncomfortable watching her sway around i <laughs> these clothes look so uncomfortable she's just stuffed into those fucking pants man kalari thank you for the super chat oh no <laughs> no <laughs> Ashley, thank you for the super chat. Did she keep saying her ring slipped off? So salad thinks she lost. Oh, maybe now I can pick you up. Would make sense. AC Hill, thank you for the super chat. Apples from Chernobyl. <laughs> Everything's bigger in Chernobyl. No. JP, thank you for the super chat. Canada could use her as an atomic bomb. No, I think all the fat would just muffle the bomb. You know? Joe Davis, thank you for the... Oh, no. It is, though. It is. You're right. Thank you for the super chat. This is the floral ham. Very skin tight, but that's all right. And that rhymes. So what do you guys think of this outfit? What is this? I remember this, watching this the first time. What is this? Who are you doing this for? Was this for Karate Joe? Or another feeder? Who does that? Do you know what working out is? I don't know. It's going to be good to do my dance videos in. Yeah, we're going to do the salsa. 
Oh, she also dances like somebody's like 85 year old grandma, you know, Whoa, get those arms up ladies, you know, oh my God. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I know you gotta move your hips a lot. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this haul. It was a lot of fun. I appreciate you watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Wow. That was some manic vibe. My heart's racing a little bit. Oh, I can, like, feel the discomfort. Oh, I loved it. Mm, 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 mm. I think I'm going to pull up some more of those. Maybe during the Kraken Olympics when she would get all the ham shit. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. That'll be some of the retros we do in the upcoming days. I want ham clothes. I want coked out Chantal showing us the ham haul. <laughs> ham haul with the ham hawks. Perfect. That'll be in the coming days. This is fun. <laughs> I've always loved a haul. I'm a sucker for a haul. You guys know. I've talked about this before. I love like grocery shopping trips online. I love hauls online. This was like the meeting of the two worlds. Hammy does hauls. Yeah. <laughs> Sweat your ass off while you try the clothes on? Hell yeah. I'm going to pull those out of the archive. Absolutely. No, no. Nobody said Koki. I said during the Koki era. Koki era. Well, she's coked out of her mind. Koki, there's no Koki over here. Nobody said Koki. Okay, we're going to end it for tonight. All right, guys? Uh, listen, whatever she gives us to work with, you know, that'll be what we start with tomorrow. I hope it's a video. I prefer the videos to the live streams. Nothing happens in these streams anyway. She just sits in her fucking car doing nothing. I'm not here for that. So uh, video, sure. Tell us again how you shit your fucking brains out. I'd rather watch that than you sitting in your car eating. Totally honest. All right. Um, I'm going to pull those videos out of the archive. I really want to watch them. They were really fun. <laughs> uh, and uh, until then, y'all, we will be going live, like I said, in ooh, an hour and a half. Oh, that's so long. Should we start before night? No, I said nine. We'll start at nine. Let's keep it consistent. 9 p.m. So in an hour and a half from now, we will be going live on Twitch and we're going to game. Okay. It's trivia night. I will not be manipulated into quiplashing. There's no quiplash. Just trivia tonight. Okay. Guys, thank you so, so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Uh, long time no see. Thank you for your patience. A few days off. I just get stomach hurts. It's nice to take a break every few days. You know what I mean? Lately, it's so dry anyway. Might as well take the breaks now. Because of the poo-poo's hit the fan in the kitchen. There's no more breaks. We go 100% back in. So take it while you can get it, all right? Guys, thanks again so much for being here. Whatever you're doing with the rest of your night, I hope to see you in an hour and a half on the Twitch. But if not, have a great night. Have fun, whatever you're doing. Please be safe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Shall we go out with the video we love the most? Hold on, I, I didn't have it ready. I should just always keep it ready. If you are not already following Lindsay, that's... Lindsay with an A on Twitter. Uh, the handle is at that's underscore Lindsay. Highly recommend you follow because she comes out with the gold like the dune buggy video. So I leave you tonight with H nodding off. Take care, everybody.